Welcome back. It's July 16th, 26 degrees. Very humid though, very summer feeling. And this is your backyard garden update. We're gonna start here with the pond. It rained a lot. <laughs> uh, it rained a lot the other day and the pond is very, very full. I also watered the day it rained and filled the pond too. So the pond was already full. Of course, that's always how it happens. The house plants over here are doing okay. New growth on this spider plant. Spider plants really like to be out here. I usually keep the shade cloth over these. Ooh, and this guy's doing really good too. I got this for free off Facebook Marketplace last year and I've split it up. I actually have three different plants of this. And I'm gonna split it again because now I know it does really well out here. I got a new hose. The metal hose so far has been working great. No kinks, love it. Pulled the garlic and the kale. The kale has self-seeded and tons of it is sprouting. I'm gonna let it do its thing until it gets a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna thin it and I'm actually gonna transplant some from this bed to that bed. I planted some of my, some of my very pathetic um, bean plants that I had started in the greenhouse. Some of them don't look like they're doing too good, but there's still lots of time for them. And the really pathetic, I don't know, what are these, petunias? These ones are kind of cool because they're like velvety. But I can't say I'm a huge fan. Uh, they were from the click and grow system. Also in this bed, the... There's a few garlics I forgot about, actually. I should pull those. The tomatoes, doing good. I've harvested some tomatoes from there so far. Oh, this is fun. The kale also self-seeded in my succulent bed here. So I'm going to have to come in and weed all of these, pull all of these little kales out. <sighs> of course. I got some new garden lights course you can't see how they look now but at night they are very very pretty I think I'm gonna grab some more they were on sale I think six for twenty dollars tomatoes coming in here I think this is a ponderosa pink and it has reached the top so I'm gonna start to bonsai it over this is bolted not surprised it's pretty though <laughs> more of this bed not doing great. I should have harvested the oregano, but I didn't. There are some floppy tomato plants that are just on the ground. They're probably cherry tomatoes. It looks like the onions are doing okay. And I think there is some uh, thyme that I planted. Oh, never plant mint in your gardens. Look, this is not supposed to be here. Oh, it goes really far. Guess I'm having mint tea tonight. Let me put this over here. Uh, here's all the garlic I got out of the garden. So much garlic. I think I need to loosen the soil a little cause some of them are tiny, but I can still use them. So I'm gonna dry them out here just on this table in the shade. And some of them are going to be kept as regular garlic. Some of them are going to be ground up into like a garlic paste. Oh, oh, oh. The strawberries, hanging planter strawberries, doing really, really great. Putting off tons of runners. It's like hair. And this guy is my pride and joy. He is my trailing rosemary and he's also doing super good. I barely harvest this one though because I want him to do well. I like to keep him uh, in the house over winter. Almost didn't survive though, last winter. Figs, so many figs, tons of figs. Oh, look at this. Something happened with this eggplant. It is like three stems fused together all the way down. And then it's kind of starting to split up here, but it is super weird getting some peppers here. Oh, 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 you can see that guy. This guy looking good. The 
eggplant that I transplanted from the broken pot in the greenhouse is doing good. The nasturtiums didn't handle the transplant as well. Oh, and there it looks like there's a, one of those long eggplants coming in here. I wonder if it's gonna turn more purple. There's lots of them. Tons and tons of little buds on this one. There is a zucchini growing there. Tons and tons of peppers starting to bud out. You see all those little buds? Some peppers down there. I thought this bed was kind of stalling, but now it seems to have picked up and it's doing better than the peppers in the ground. This is called purple orange. It can be used like spinach apparently, but I just find it to be very pretty. It's a very pretty color. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it. The basil, I should be cutting these off, but I'm not cause I'm lazy and I find the flowers to be really cute. More peppers here. The columbine, amazing. Look at, I had intentions. I had the intentions of staking this tomato. Look at it. Oh my, I, I still have a chance. I could probably do it if I actually do it. <laughs> Sunflower, amazing. Uh, Cosmo, also amazing. I can't get over this columbine. I hope it flowers. I started that from seed in the house. Transplanted a few little things in here. These, I, I don't know what these are, but they were from my click and grow. The moss rows are really pretty. I hope these take off. They're kind of in the shade. The middle bed here, um, all of this lettuce that has gone to seed, story of my life this year. I'm just so busy doing a million projects that I haven't harvested. Ah, where am I not gonna be able to find them? You can't see it now because it's closed, but in the morning it opens and it's this really bright purpley color. Oh, here, you can kind of see the purple color here, but they're closed because it's night, afternoon. I had a busy day. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get anything out of this cauliflower, but I don't know. Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. This guy too, let's check. Ugh, I don't know. I do not know, guys. The onions in here are doing good, though. Oh, you can't even see them. Maybe they're not doing that good. <laughs> the garlic in this bed has to come out. I have to do that maybe tomorrow, sometime this week. The uh, zucchini that I left here is actually doing pretty good. Some weeds in here that need to be pulled out. And the peppers seem to be doing good. There are a few volunteer tomato plants, as you can see. There, a couple there. Might have to pull those out too. Let's quickly go around this way. We've got something weird happening with my lavender. As you can see, it's very bushy, very purple, very beautiful. But if you look inside, it's dead. <laughs> it's crispy, it's brown. So I'm considering chopping it right down to the base, which is a crazy thought, but I might do it. These, uh, oh yeah, these planters were removed and put somewhere else. These are thyme and I don't remember what these are. Oh, I overwintered them. My mom bought them from the dollar store. They're some sort of bulb. Blueberries, look at this. Look at this, can you see this? All these, how do I get in here? How do I, how do I do this? All these berries, I think I can put these in my mouth. And I'm going to, it's gonna be my reward, my snack for coming out here. It's not very many, is it? I mean, you gotta really get in there to pick them. Ooh, mm, super sweet. Blueberry's doing great. That zucchini is taking over. Look at it. It is friggin' huge. It's so pretty too but it's massive. And it is just sending out zucchinis like crazy. I had a zucchini plant planted here last year, which is why I was gonna do it again. And success yet again. Although I'm a little concerned about the blueberry bushes 
and the apple tree. Apple tree is looking good too. We'll do a size check. Oh yeah, they're getting bigger. Getting much bigger. There's one in there that's sunburned. Sunburned, sunburned. We did a little bit of pruning. Oh, it looks like the squirrels have also helped themselves to an apple already. There's one up there on my fence. Lovely, very lovely. The Cosmos are taking over. I had to move the uh, um, hanging baskets from here because the Cosmos, they're not even making flowers yet and they're huge, they're taller than I am. They are the big performers this year in the garden. Last year there were sunflowers in this middle bed and they got taller than I, I am and this year it's these wild Cosmos. They are wild, oh! Oh my God, finally. Looks like there's a flower in there just hiding. Lots of borage. The bees absolutely love it. They're usually here in the morning, probably not here right now. The succulent up here is doing a little bit of a death bloom thing. That's what happens with succulents. I might've mentioned it on the channel before, but basically this guy puts out a bunch of pups and when it's done its life cycle, it sends out this big shoot, gets erect, <laughs> and um, sends out these flowers. Now this will produce seeds too. So it spreads in more than one way. And then this will die back and make space for the rest of the little pups. <sighs> Some of these still struggling. I don't know. Oh, the fig tree, look. The fig tree is thriving. I am so surprised. I thought it was a goner and it has so many shoots. It is almost as tall as when I cut. It's unbelievable. Lots of marigold buds about to burst. Tons of buds. They're going through like another cycle. Um, what are these, zinnias? All the zinnias seem to be orange this year. Very orange garden which I'm not complaining about, but I thought I bought a multicolor pack. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. This tomato plant, it was one that was transplanted, not doing great, but not terrible. That one, very bad. I should get rid of that. I don't know why I'm holding on to that. This one, doing okay. Growing a tomato over here. And it's got some buds up at the top. Some more orange zinnias. So pretty. These tomatoes, ooh. Oh, I cannot wait. Here, let me see if I can back up. Look at how tall they are. See, in previous years, we had that all the way down the row. I don't really know what happened here. So I'm gonna need to amend the beds for next year. And that's pretty much the garden. Um, the tomatillo, not doing good. We are wilty, so that's not good. <laughs> and, oh, this is weird. Okay, so we have this milkweed growing. It's supposed to be for the butterflies, but I've never seen a monarch here ever. Check this out. Do you see them there? Do I have to zoom in? Maybe I have to zoom in? It's pretty gross. Those are yellow aphids. They are actually kind of all over the buds and they could actually take over so much so that the plant suffers or monarchs decide not to come to visit. So the way that we deal with that, wow, look at how pretty those buds are. The way we deal with these little aphid guys here is you just spray them off with the hose kind of hard to do when it's taller than I am. <laughs> Some uh, cucumbers in here that didn't get pollinated properly and I still haven't cleaned this up. I'm just gonna get rid of everything here. Um, yeah, some stuff is just struggling in this corner. These guys, I moved them from another part of the garden. They're all doing well. Some strawberry starters and some zinnias in here that were in the greenhouse, but there has been a lot of changes in the greenhouse recently. That's pretty much your garden tour for today. All the trees are doing good. Uh, our project trees, there are some volunteer tomatoes popping up with this 
jalapeno plant. I'm gonna leave it because some of my other tomatoes have leaf spot and I don't really know what to do about that. If you have any advice, please leave it in the comments. That would be very helpful. All right, I got uh, the greenhouse up next.